Hey engineering, what are you guys doing? Hey, just measuring some plans with our engineer skills. Oh, what's that? Well, it's sort of like a ruler, but it has six sides, uh, and it helps you measure your uh, drawings and plans a lot easier, so you don't have to do multiplication in your own head. Uh, most drawings have a scale like one inch equals 20 feet, one inch equals 40 feet, so you can get a large site onto a smaller piece of paper. And if you had just a normal ruler, you'd have to measure out the ruler and how many inches it is, and then multiply it by how many feet are in the scale. Uh, the scale does that multiplication for you. Uh, Kareen can demonstrate. So for example, if I wanted to figure out the length of a certain item on my plan, I would look at the scale, which in this case is one inch equals 20 feet. I would look on my engineering scale for the 20. And once I see the 20, then I measure this culvert, for example, is 10 feet wide. When you want to check the dimensions to make sure your scale is plotted correctly, you look at a scale that has or a dimension that's been called out, and then you can check that yes, indeed, the width of this culvert is 10 feet. Or if you're on a road job, for instance, and you want to make sure your stations have all plotted correctly at 50 feet apart, uh, you look at your drawing here. This one is at one inch equals 40 feet. You go onto the scale to the side that says 40 on the side, which marks out 40 feet for every one inch. And then you would, on the drawing, measure in between your two station points. And you can count out one, two, three, four, five tick marks represents 50 feet. Perfect match. Sometimes when you need something that's much more detailed, um, you can use an architectural scale, which are broken down into 16 For example, this line here, each section is one foot. So I line up my scale and double check that it is one foot for each segment. Uh, an engineering scale is broken down into tenths, but an architectural scale is broken down into sixteenths or eighths. They also have um, measurements coming from both directions because they have more fractions that they need to use. This side is broken down 3 30 seconds, this one 3 16 So you can read them in the appropriate direction. The main difference is the size of the scales being used. Uh, it uses common scales that we would use on a civil site plan drawing, such as one inch equals 10 feet, 20 feet, 30, 40, or 50, or 60 feet. Uh, the architectural scale, however, uses a lot smaller scales, like one quarter of an inch equals one foot, or similar. The engineering scale uh, contains the six scales that we typically use, one to 10 through one to 60. However, if your drawing has a larger scale, for example, one inch equals 120 feet, you could use the one to 60 side and then multiply your measurements by two. There you go. Simple. <laughs> Easy like that. There you go. Thanks, engineering. Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking us out. Remember to like, subscribe, look at the links below. Doesn't take too much to do it. Glad to see you join us for looking at what our services are, what we provide. Got a lot more coming the way. We're going to have a lot of fun. Stay tuned.